welcome to my youtube channel this is zero tech now in this video we will be bypassing the fip settings in this itel 1409 it operates on the android version 5.1 so the method i'll be showing you now will work on every android 5.1 devices let's get started so first of all you have to connect to a strong wi-fi strong wi-fi that has a very strong internet con uh, connection and then um, check it now let me check it and you see that it's on you know frp so i have to go back and um, click on the add network you can type anything there and um, long press and click on assist as you can see so it will direct you to a google interface so you now search chrome you should click on you click there and search chrome so that will direct you to the chrome browser inside the phone after that you should search you should, okay you should click on accept yes you click on accept no thanks and search quick shortcut maker you know search the app okay quick shortcut maker apk pure you can download from that site it's very it's very good there so you should click on it and um, download the app to your phone it's pretty easy so after downloading the app you should click on accept install it you know install the app the normal way okay so after installing the app okay now you should click on open don't click on done after installing the app you should open it up like this and scroll down to where you see launcher yes scroll down to launcher so find the launcher okay scroll down little by little and okay i think we've passed that place yes okay here is it so click on the first option there click on try so it will open the phone's launcher for you and mind you this is not the end you still have some procedures to make before you open the phone finally so go back to chrome again then download vn room you can just search vnroom.com it will take you to it will take you directly to the vn room site it's an app that uh, you know it will allow me to impute a new google account into the phone because the old one is still inside there so enter the website and um, select vn room okay look at the vn room install it after downloading okay you have to wait for some time and to show that it has downloaded so open the file also and install it to your phone now this time instead of clicking open you should click on done then you can go back to the phone's setting you know so you should have a gmail account already a spare one let's say a dummy gmail that you don't use so you log in that gmail here so first of all you have to go to the app setting and then search for the google assistant yeah i think google okay the google play service before then you have to enable it to show system apps and then search for google play service and google accounts manager here so you should disable the google accounts manager first then you go back and, dis and disable the google play service as well so the vm room th that we downloaded and installed will act as the google play service that will enable us to log in a new gmail account so click on add account you know then select google and so i like to load up a bit now this thing is being processed by vm room not google itself so you can now you can log in a new gmail account you know the gmail and put the password so after that click on just click on agree the normal thing we should do then after look as you can see there's a gmail account in there already 
So go back and enable those things we disabled the Google Play service and the Google Account Manager. So you can enable them once more. So the phone will not think the one we added now is the old Gmail account since it was disabled. So it's now enabled as you can see. So I think that is okay. As you can see, it's now in the Google setting. So restart the phone and wait for it to load up. Okay. Actually, it can take longer than this, but because of the video, I just make it short. I fast forwarded it. So click on skip and wait for it to load up. Now it might take longer. Mine took up to 10 minutes to load up, but I'm just fast forwarding it because of time on this video. Yeah, so as you can see, it will just skip immediately and you can just select not now. You know, select not now and you can set up the phone easily. You can add password now or not. So this is the best method so far because in other devices like the newer Android 10, Android 9, 11, they have different methods because their security stuff has been you know improved. If once it, lo it loads up, you can just open the settings, select your country. I'm in Nigeria, so add up Nigeria. Now this method works on Android 6. So the one for Android 7, I have um, the a link up here, this card, so you can tap on it and learn how to bypass Android 7. So please, if this video has helped you, please give the video a like and um, subscribe to my channel. I make amazing videos based on tech and finance. So if this is your first time, you also subscribe and like, share to your friends and all that. It will really help me a lot. Thank you for watching. I will see you on my next video.